Hello, my name is Clifton Joseph, and we're here to celebrate the 35th anniversary of Donovan Boucher, Canadian and Commonwealth welterweight champion, defending his crown in Varsity, <laughs> Varsity Stadium in Toronto. Champ, welcome. Ah, welcome. It's a pleasure to be here with you talking uh, 35 years of uh, uh, of uh, the, the fight game, uh, the, the night that I fought Sean O'Sullivan. Yes, it's a pleasure to uh, to join you there, Clifton, uh, one of my good buddies uh, following the fight game for many years and very capable uh, journalist. Uh, yes, it's a pleasure to be here, which is talking boxing. So, Donovan, you were fighting in your hometown at Varsity Stadium, open air. And uh, you had been in the game for a long time. You got into boxing late uh, in your teens. And you went on to have an illustrious career, 33 wins, uh, seven losses. Uh, what was that night leading up to the fight? What kind of excitement? Would take us back to, to that time when you were training and getting ready for the fight. Oh, man. That's a long time back. That's like 35 years. I don't even think we had um, uh, the, the technology that we do today. But uh, yeah, as I could remember, I'm trying to um, figure it out uh, that 35 years back then. Yeah, that was amazing time uh, training, uh, preparing myself for that one fight, uh, specific fight uh, against a gentleman that uh, was uh, an Olympian. He was uh he's well um well versed in the city of Toronto and Canada, well respected Sean O'Sullivan. Yes, uh uh we trained together also too, you know, back in the, the Cabbage Town gym. Um we uh we 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 did a lot of things together, you know, um me and Sean uh training together. Um and uh, you know, it's unfortunate that you know, I mean, we, yeah, two of us, you know, we had to fight. Maybe it's not unfortunate. Things happen for a reason. Um, so you know, we we uh, we we basically um, uh, the fight thirty five years ago. We had to do it because um, he wanted my title. I had the title, and so we had to get it on. And uh, it, it it was a uh, it was a long journey. Um, I don't even know if we have, we have enough time to um to go from the start to the to the end, but we're gonna try to do our best. Indeed. Yeah, from the Indeed. yeah from the start, we had um uh, uh trainer Peter Wiley. Peter Wiley, he was um uh, he was a trainer for Sean O'Sullivan, and um, I was with Peter also too when I started my pro career. At the Cabbage Town Youth Center back in the days, because I thought it was the best thing for me back then. It was um, the club was um, it was a rising club. We had a lot of fighters. Um, I'm sure I can remember some of the fighters: Tony Morrison. We had Sadiq Suleiman. We had um, uh, I think also um, uh. We 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 got uh, Sadiq. We have Baron Barrington Francis. Yeah, I think Barrington was there too. Uh, if he was there, man, there's so many fighters back in the days. I can't remember them all. But anyway, those are a couple few that uh, I could remember. That was at Cabbage Town Gym. Um, and uh, we we basically trained together. We did our thing. What we had to do. Uh, it was a good, good fighting gym, to tell you the truth. You know, we had a lot of good fighters, but uh, um, pro, the, the the pro style was that um, he wanted to be successful. You want to fight um, for a Canadian title. You want to win that, and you want, you want to move ahead and maybe eventually fight for a world title fight or a Commonwealth title fight. Uh, yeah, you're still there. I'm still here. Go ahead. So, so, uh, okay. It was um, pretty well Sean, Sean and me. We're, we're, um, we had good record back in the days. We, um, we established our, uh, our mark in the sport of boxing. And uh, we, we, uh, he wanted my title, so I had the title. He wanted it. I uh, 
I had to leave that gym because uh, we, we I didn't want to, to be trained by a fighter that Sean O'Sullivan was with, you know. So I uh, I took my uh, my chance and I, I left and uh, I, I I went to um, Lansdowne Boxing Club, been in there for a while. I went, you know, I mean, we got hooked up me and Chris back in the days because we basically he's the one who got me into boxing. That's Chris Amos, your watch. trainer. Chris Amos, your yes. trainer. Yes, he was my he's my trainer for that for that fight in uh, in uh, in Toronto. So you know we 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 went to uh, the Lansdowne gym, and um, we uh, we started training there with Chris for that for, for that particular fight. That's for that particular fight. Well, Peter Wally was saying that you know um, you could always come back after um, the fight's over when Sean gets the title. So <laughs> <I> was... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's what I said too. That's what, that, was, that was my uh, first impression. My first impression, I, I, I had a laugh. <laughs> yeah, funny dude. Yeah, when he gets the title, I'm like, yeah, are you serious? When he gets the title, I don't get the title from who, bro? I don't get the title from who. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I said, listen, man, I think I got to bounce from this place because, yeah, I don't, I don't see nothing good, you know what I mean, in, in, for, for me. You know, what I mean, when he gets a title, we'll be we'll be we'll be together again. We all train together and blah yes. blah blah. Yeah, so, because okay. you're right. That uh, at the time, right, even though you were the champ, Sean O'Sullivan was the golden boy of Canadian boxing at the time. So, in some senses, right. he had a bigger reputation than you. Tell me about what happened at the Eaton Center when you were down there training like exhibition. Oh man, he, he had a he had a big reputation than me. He, he was he was a silver medalist in the Olympics. I thought he won the gold medal to tell you the truth. You know, no lie. He fought he fought Frank Tate. That was if I Frank Tate or one of one of the American um in the gold medal fight. And I thought he won the fight. You know, what I mean? but the fight was in LA. And um I uh, I thought he definitely won that fight. They they robbed him, it was a um it was a country decision. Hometown decision, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. man. Sean, Sean was uh, he had commercials on TV. He was bigger than life. This guy was huge, bro. A lot of people think that he couldn't fight. This guy was bigger than life. Sean, who was he was voted number one athlete over the Toronto Maple Leaf, the Blue Jays, the Argos. He was voted number one athlete in the city of Toronto. Mm -hmm. That's how big this guy was. He was doing Swiss chalet commercials. Mm -hmm. He was doing all that. You know what I mean? After me beating him, I just wanted, you know, what can they give me a, you know, um, curry goat chicken commercial or something? <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't give me nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this guy had commercials. This guy was, was large, man. You, you, you think, let me see who's large out there. He was large like, um, you know, I mean, in, in, in the States. He was large, like Sugar Ray. Mm -hmm. That you know, for a country, Sean was well versed, well liked by everybody, and um, you know, nobody thought you know Boucher. You know, what I mean, like I came from you know, from from nowhere pretty well. You know, what I mean, I just trained my ass off. I didn't like the the limelight. You know, what I mean, I didn't have the commercials. I just was, you know, what I mean, I just was was a. Uh, a fighter that uh, went on to fight for the title in Halifax, Nova Scotia, you know, 87. And I plucked this guy out, uh, Danny Winters. I beat him in his hometown. Um, yeah, so, you know, that was that. And then after, you know, after me accomplishing all that good stuff, he wanted my title. I'm yes. Like, hey, and, that can't happen. And, and Donovan, he... um. He wanted the he was large and he wanted the larger dressing room at the Eaton Center too. How did that turn out? Yeah, well, well yeah, we're done at the Eaton Center training. We had um we had we had great uh uh training um places that we, we trained, you know, to promote that fight because it was a big fight, two Torontonians. So we're done at the Eaton Center training and uh you know he figured that check this out, he figured that he must have the bigger dressing room space because he's Sean O'Sullivan and I'm the champion 
and I must be going into a little um, cubby hole <laughs> to, 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 to change. I'm like, yo, my, you know, my Chris was like, yo, no, 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 this ain't happening. Nothing go like, nothing go like, nothing go up. We're the champion and we're going there and we're arguing, fighting and back and forth. And Chris was, you know, I mean, was going to get physical. We're, we're starting to get physical now. So, you know, Chris was going to, you know, put, you know, put his dukes up because he used to be a fighter back in the day. We ain't taking no crap. We don't take no crap from nobody. You know what I mean? Regardless, you know what I mean? Me and him, we're, we're a team. And he, he was like, yo, no, no, you guys got to leave, Sean. They're saying that. I said, we ain't leaving nothing, bro. And, he, you know, me saying to, he saying to Chris, remember when I used to punch you out back in the amateurs? <laughs> He's talking like that. You know what I mean? I'm like, this guy, is something wrong with this dude, bro. He was giving, giving us, uh, you know, I mean, he, he wants to fight my trainer. I'm like, yo, 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 yo. Yo, easy, easy, guys. I have to break those two up because, you know, I mean, they're going to get fist, fist to cuff and, and something could have happened to that fight. But, you know, I mean, I broke him in the middle and I said, listen, man, you go on your side and we, we ain't going in no small room. We're taking a big dressing room and that's it. And, 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 and some, some, person came and figured it out and we went we went into the big room and that was and that was the big training room and that was that with that fight but yeah we went through all you know a lot of adversity you know what i mean coming towards that you know what i mean and like there's a lot of racism stuff back in the days but we ain't we ain't having it mm -hmm. you know what i mean we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't having it we're we're from we're from the islands we're we're yard man and we ain't having that plus you, know I mean? you don't want, want plus you, you don't want to give a fight to any more motivation than he got. The first of all, you're already motivated because dude wants to take your title, right? Oh, and now absolutely. he wants a bigger dressing room. So you were you were pumped for that fight, right? So oh, the night of the oh, fight shit. now, the night of the fight now, I mean, you say 30, it's 35 years, Donovan. Congratulations again. You must remember how you were feeling when you got into that ring. Come on, man. Oh my oh. God. I had like I had everybody, I had everybody in my corner. I had everybody in my corner. I got, you know, Lennox Lewis in my corner. You know what I mean? He wasn't he wasn't Lennox Lewis of today when he was he was he was um upcomer and we had uh you know we we had uh Sadiq. We were well, man, we we had everybody in our corner coming out, you, you know. Um it, it was it, it was uh it was surreal moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, when I when I when I look back on it. When I watch those videos and I look back on it, I'm like, oh man, this was like a movie, bro. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't supposed to win that fight. You know what I mean? Canada wanted their golden boy. Mm -hmm. Right? Golden boy was wasn't me. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm a black fighter from Toronto, Canada. You know what I mean? Fighting a white fighter that um, went to the Olympics, won a silver medal, you know. So basically, you know, they, they're they're going for him to win the fight, not for me. You know, what I mean, I don't care what anybody said. You know, what I mean, I just got my little my, my little um, corner, my, my 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 family, my 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 basic surrounding, um, of friends that you know, what I mean, was going for me. But the majority of people in the varsity arena uh, was going for Sean. Absolutely, because after the fight was over, it went two rounds, two rounds, <laughs> two, two rounds. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the first round, you know, I mean, I'm kind of feel, feeling them out to see what he's got. And this guy, I'm like, he, he was, he, the punches were coming like an, like an amateur fighter. Man, I wasn't feeling nothing. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm stepping up. I'm step, stepping the ante up. Let me step it up, baby. So I step it up the second round. I start coming with some stiff jab. Boom, boom. You know, I'm like, hey, this guy, man, I'm, I'm going to blow this guy away. I just thought, you know, I mean, bam, bam, one, two combination, my one, two, one, two, one, two. Caught him, his head sticking him way up there in the air. You know what I mean? He was just, just like straightforward. He's like a robot. Straightforward. So one, two, one, two. You know what I mean? That was it. Get out of here. He ain't nothing, bro. You know what I mean? You want, you want, you want to fight me? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Talking all that, all that rubbish. You know what I'm saying? I said, what? One, two, I smoked him out. You know what I mean? Um, 
I hope he's not hurt, you know what I mean? Like, you know, after the fight, I'm like, you know, I hope he's not, I hope he's a good kid, you know, he's not hurt or nothing like that. Yeah, he's a good guy, but, uh, you know, it, 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 there's no animosity when it comes to, um, to, to me and him. We just have to fight and just, you know, it's just a story, you know, it's one of those Rocky moments. And you ain't gonna that, let uh, you ain't gonna let somebody take food out of your mouth and take your belt well, from you. Well, you are, well, the food I didn't really get too much of the food. I didn't get too much of the you know what I mean the dollar the dollar figure that fight. I didn't make I didn't make what I supposed to make because you know what I mean I got people that uh, wasn't in my best interest. You know what I mean I just thought I would ever I'll fight forever. I didn't mm -hmm. really you know uh, know the finance of the game as much as I do today. That um, you know, this was on uh, coast to coast, CBC. You know, what I mean, shown across uh, America. It was a big ass right fight. Across, it right was a big ass Canada. fight yeah. at, at that yeah. time. It was one of the biggest fights ever, ever in this country. Exactly. You know, what I mean, and the money figure that I got was yeah, my goodness gracious, it was it was bad. I I, I heard Sean made way more the money than I did, and he's a challenger. So when it comes, it's that racism stuff, you know what I mean? From back then, they figured that, you know what I mean? Um, uh, we're not supposed to um, have the the financial reward that we're, we, we're supposed to have. Um, you know, so it was just like, yeah, yeah he win the fight, but but there's no money. Today, if, if that was today, it would have been huge. And uh, if I had proper people around me, <clears throat> if I had the proper people around me, you know what I mean? If I had my father figure around me, you know what I mean? That would make a difference. You know what I mean? Somebody that look out for my interests. You know what I mean? You know, I love my mom and everything like that, but my mom don't know nothing about the sport of boxing or nothing. Or, you know, um, she wasn't uh, in my financial situation. She didn't know. She didn't know. But, uh, yeah, if I had people that uh, was in my best interest, you know, today would be different. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean. Let's go back to the fight though, because the, the, as you say, usually the first round is a feeling out where you check the guy's punches, see what he got, give him some and so on. And a lot of the sports commentators at the time, for instance, they were back in Sean, and uh, a lot of them at the time thought that that at least either he won the first round or that it was at least even. But when you came out with your your punches and your combinations for that second round, knocked him out, and you said you were concerned for him because. He was wobbly after that fight, man. He had to be helped out of the ring, didn't he? Yeah, well, you know, um, it, it, it was a, it was a hard. Um, I caught him with a hard right hand, and you know, um, uh, you know that uh, that could damage a fighter. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, um, yeah. So I was, oh, you know, I was kind of concerned for him, but uh, you know. Um, it's not like he never knocked fighters out. He knocked a lot of guys out too. So, you know, it's part of the game. You know, um sometimes it's it's uh it's your it's your time. You know, um you, you never know when uh you, you know uh what fighters damage, but uh you know, um I'm just I'm just hoping that uh he was uh okay after that fight. And um you know, life goes on, man. Um, but uh, you know, it was a it was a tremendous night um, with everybody in my corner after I won uh, thirty five years ago. Wow, man! It seems like yeah, yeah. It, it seems, <laughs> yeah when we look back, like, thirty five years, but not not ten. That's a decade. <laughs> not twenty. Dick. Thirty. Thirty years. Plus another. Yeah, 35 years. God damn, that's so a long after the time, fight, man. After the fight, of course, the world seemed to be your oyster at that point because uh, I can imagine you were thinking that now you might get your own Swiss Chalet commercial or Bay commercial, or some commercial that you get <laughs> the big, big profiles in the media and so on. And you, you, you're a double champ and you went on to be the welterweight champ, welterweight uh, commonwealth champ. What were, what were you thinking that you would get? Because I would assume that you would get the largest. You would get all the commercials. You would be lauded by the Canadian media and so on. What, what happened? And what were your expectations? And, and what actually happened? Well, um, yeah, me by me winning, you know, um, 
by like by me winning the Commonwealth title, I went to Scotland um after the Sean the Sean fight. And you know, I've I um I was in good line to fight for the Commonwealth title. But uh before that, you know, I fought a couple of fights in uh in New York and um Madison Square Garden. Uh I I wasn't so fortunate to win um uh some of the fights that uh after after the Sean fight, but uh, they look they're looking for an opponent for um for the Commonwealth title, and so you know I came off of a loss to tell you the truth after the Sean fight, you know um you, you know sometimes you know like like a, a football game or a hockey game or a basketball game you, you you might you might prepare for that one team, and you do so so well against that one team then your next your next game against a mediocre team you the team will lose and so that's that was that was you know I mean all the hype was put into Sean's fight right so I was prepared you know what I mean I went to bed early on time I did everything eat food um at the, the right time and so yeah, I won that fight, but after that, um, maybe I was on I was on a high. It's like when you win a Super Bowl, you're on a high, and then after the next year, your, your team gets slapped up. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I didn't get slapped up by the other fighter. I just didn't win. Um, so I lost. You know what I mean? Um, uh, to a tough kid in uh, in New Jersey. Um, and. Uh, they 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 said okay this is a good time for to get Boucher to fight for the Commonwealth title. So I said okay you know um I came off of a downer, and I um I fought for the Commonwealth title. I they, they expected for me to lose, so they flew me over to Scotland. I went over to Scotland, and um. I uh, I, I I accepted the fight, went to Scotland, and I, I fought. For the Commonwealth title, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I came out of there. Gary Jacobs, I came out of there successful on his hometown, in front in front of all his people, all his fans. They're all going for him. I was there to lose, mm -hmm. and I came out of there with a Commonwealth title. I was like, mm. and I must be, I must be blessing somehow to come out of. Uh, a fight with um with a Commonwealth champion. And you know something? I came out of there and we we're so happy. We're so we're 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 top of the world. We forgot about our belt. <laughs> a Commonwealth <What? laughs> we came out we came out of there, you know what I mean? We were supposed to get our belt. We never got no belt, no Commonwealth belt. Not even a after nice Beautiful Commonwealth belt. Oh, not even after up to up to these up to, I've been going to this conference, and um, and uh, I can't seem to locate our belt. We, we talked we talked to um, the owner of uh, the Commonwealth, and uh, he gave me a plaque to hold on to that for now because uh, the You're belt kidding. is expensive. You're joking, yes, you know? Yeah, he said the belt is expensive. And uh, I, I'm like, yo, but I'm supposed to get a belt. I don't care how expensive it is. We we won the, we won the fight. We came to your hometown, Glasgow, Scotland, and we won the Commonwealth title. You know, not too many people would go to somebody's hometown and fight and win. You know what I mean? And wasn't even acknowledged that, you know, here's your belt. You know what I mean? I don't know what our trainer, I don't know my, my trainer, we're all so... You know, in in gulp in in the in in the wind, we're so we're so into it that <laughs> we came out of that city without our belt. Mm -hmm. And and um, uh, years later, I'm looking to you know recoup, recoup that belt because it's a it's a prestigious thing to have. So, Dada, oh, well. 
Donovan, so you beat Sean O'Sullivan, the golden boy of Canadian boxing at the time. Then now you go um, and you now are the Canadian cha welterweight champ and the Commonwealth welterweight champion. Uh, surely you started to get endorsements and more profile in the Canadian media and so on. Didn't that happen? Well, shit. Well, I was on a couple of shows, you know what I mean? But the shows, they, they don't pay no money. You just on the show to, to boost up, you know, their show, um, you know, like, you know, Don Sherry, Grapevine, you know what I mean? Just little, you know, shows like that, you know what I mean, for my publicity sake, but, you know what I mean, nothing, you know what I mean, for uh, financial, for my pocket. I, w I was I was never, um, you know, um, no commercial for any, no, no commercials, no nothing like that. Yeah, no commercial, like I said, this could have, you know what I mean, uh, for, you know, I mean, a fried fried chicken dinner, you know, dinner commercial or something. No, no, nothing, no, nothing. You know, I mean, it, you know, hey, I I guess you know, you got to be white to be right when it comes to that. You know, you know, not pulling no strings. That's straight up. That's how it is. So, um, like I said, I hope to hopefully things will change with my daughters and my uh. You know, my son, you know, you know, they could see a different uh, future when it comes to um, the, the racism, stuff like that. And then I got proper people around them to guide them in the right direction and to, uh, to, to, to get their the monetary values that they're worth. Not just um, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Good job. Good job. But the financial reward is not there, um, you know. As a, as as a black fighter, yeah, you, you got to get paid to step in that ring. You're entertaining a lot of people. You're showing from coast to coast, right across the country. Yeah, you, you got to be um, you got to be treated um, with, with respect, and that respect will be uh, the financial reward that uh, wasn't uh, wasn't given to me. But you know, I mean, um, life goes on, and I'm a, uh, I'm a survivor, and I'm gonna always uh, survive. Once I got my health and strength from the mighty um, one up there, Jesus Christ, um, I'll uh, I'll always move ahead. Once I got that, and you know, I mean, you want to be a, you want to be um, straight, straight, straight as possible. You don't want to do nothing, um, no criminal activity to get your reward. You know what I mean? So I work hard. Whatever I do in life, I work hard and uh, and maintain what I have. The little that I have, I would maintain it. I'm happy. Donovan, what yes, uh, you had a long career in boxing. What did boxing teach you? Well, boxing teach me. Um, boxing teach me discipline. Discipline, it, uh, uh, um, basically, uh, to respect to respect your opponent, um, that's to, to, re to re respect people in general, uh, in in society, um, you know, it, it, it teach you um, to eat properly, um, you know, um, it just teach me a whole lot of things in life that um, that put me in the right uh, platform to excel in society, you know. Uh, you know, maybe I might be missing something to say, but uh, boxing is one of those sports that um, the camaraderie with uh, with your peers and it, it's just it's a tight knit community that uh, people um, gel together and try to keep people around. That's why that's why I do uh, what I do. Like I have uh, the anniversary. You know, every year we have a, a reunion try to keep the community of boxers tight together and um and and to have fun with each other and to um you know to socialize and uh to be together it's a it's a together thing and i say it's almost like a family so thank you, know, you champ one of those. thank you champ congratulations again it was 35 years ago uh, March 25th, 1988 at Varsity Stadium that you beat the golden boy of Canadian boxing, Sean O'Sullivan, to retain your Canadian welterweight championship. And then you went on to get the Commonwealth uh, uh, 
welterweight championship. Now you're a respected referee. So once again, big up and congratulations, champ, on your 35th anniversary of retaining your welterweight title in Canada. Yeah, that was great. I appreciate that. Well done. Well done. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you again. Congratulations, champ. And have a great day. Celebrate. Thank you. Yes, three to five years, baby. All right, baby. Take care. Yeah, respect. All right. All the time. Yeah.